All users in Amazon Connect, such as agents, call center managers, quality analysts, admins, etc., should have a user account to log into Amazon Connect. In order to create a user account, go to Users and click User Management. Now here you should see all the users in Amazon Connect instance, but it is empty at the moment because we haven't created any users yet. So to create a new user, click Add Users, and you will get two options. Create and set up a new user, or upload a list of users you want to create using a CSV file. And you can download the template for the CSV file by clicking this link. This is very helpful in creating a large number of users at once. But for now, we will create the user accounts one by one. So I'll leave this option as it is and click Next. And here you need to enter the details of the user. So I'll enter their first name, last name, login name. I'll leave the email address blank as it is optional. Then set a password. Then I'll select a routing profile. When you create an Amazon Connect instance, by default, a new routing profile gets created, which is called the basic routing profile. For now, I will select this, and later I'll show you how to create new routing profiles and rename this one to something that makes more sense. Next, we need to select a security profile for the user. A security profile defines what permissions this user will have on this Amazon Connect instance. For example, an agent will need access only to the CCP to make and receive calls, while a supervisor should be able to monitor conversations or listen to recorded conversations. On the other hand, a call center manager should be able to do much more than that, like creating and editing routing profiles and creating queues, etc. So you can create security profiles with various levels of permissions and assign it to a user to manage their permissions. When you create an Amazon Connect instance, Four security profiles are created automatically, which are admin, agent, call center manager, and quality analyst. Later in this video, I'll show you how to create new security profiles or edit the existing security profiles. But for now, let's go ahead and assign the agent profile to this user. Also note that you can assign multiple security profiles to a user, giving them the cumulative permissions of all the profiles. However, when it comes to routing profile, you can only assign one routing profile to a user. Next, select the phone type. If you select soft phone, the agent will receive calls on the CCP. And if you select desk phone, then the agent will receive the call on their desk phone or even mobile phone as long as you can specify the phone number here. Also notice that when you select soft phone, you have the option to enable auto accept call, which means as soon as a call is routed to the agent, it'll be auto answered. The after call work or after contact work timeout allows you to specify a time limit in seconds for an agent to be on after call work status before he goes into available mode to receive the next call. So let's say you want to give two minutes for this agent after each call to complete his after call work like updating the case reference details, you can enter 120 here. For now, I'll leave it as zero and click save, then create users, and it is done. Now if I click back, you can see the user account is created. Let's create one more user and give him an admin security profile. So I'll click add new users. Next, enter the first name, last name, login name, password, select the basic routing profile. And for the security profile, I'll select admin, then click save and create users. All right, done, and if I click back, I can see two users, John Doe, who is an agent, and Arun Nair, who is an admin. Now let's go ahead and log into Amazon Connect with these accounts. I'll go back to my Amazon Connect's overview page on the AWS console, and here is the link to login. So I'll copy this link and open an incognito window so it doesn't interfere with the existing browser session. Paste the URL here and hit enter. Now I'll enter the login name for John Doe, then the password, and click sign in. Now you may get a pop-up asking if you want to allow Google Chrome to use your computer's microphone for this site. So go ahead and click allow, and you can see only CCP is available for John Doe because he is an agent. So if I change the status to available, the agent will start receiving the calls if there are calls waiting in the queue. Now let's log out John. And I'll log in with Arun Nair's account, who is an admin. Again, you can see only the call control panel despite Arun being an admin. 
That is because when you logged into John Doe's account, it automatically redirected to the CCP's URL based on John's security profile, which is an agent. So when we logged out John, we still retained the same CCP's URL. That is why you still see only the CCP screen. So if I simply delete the CCP part from this URL and hit enter, you can see the entire dashboard got loaded. And if I click any of these options, I can see all of them are available to me. Now if I go back to the dashboard and log out Arun Nair by clicking this logout icon. And now if I log in with John Doe's credentials, you can see the dashboard screen is showing up. But on the left hand side, you don't see any other option. Similarly, if I click, let's say, this view queues, you'll get this error 403 forbidden. So basically, it doesn't stop anyone from accessing this home screen. However, they won't be able to go into these specific sections unless they have the right permissions. Now I can access the CCP from here by clicking the phone icon. All right, now let's see how to create and edit security profiles. So I'll close this incognito window and go back to my Amazon Connect screen. In order to manage security profiles, I'll go to the user section and click security profiles. And here you can see the four default security profiles that came with Amazon Connect. You can see a description for each of these profiles and what permissions they have. Let's go into the agent profile and see what is in there. So here you can see the name and you cannot edit the name of an existing profile but you can edit the description. Then we have the permissions for the security profile, which are grouped into six categories. Now, if you just expand all these categories, you can see the various lists of permissions under each category. And if you notice, the type of permissions are different in each group. For example, the permissions under routing are all, view, edit, create, and enable or disable. While if you check numbers and flows, you can see there are more types and some of the types like publish or claim are not applicable to all the permissions. Similarly, if you go to the contact control panel, you will see only one type of permission, which is access. So this is basically where you define what kind of permissions a particular security profile will have. And in turn, these permissions will be applied to the users who are assigned the security profile. For example, currently we are looking at agent security profile and John Doe, who's an agent, will be able to do only two things, access contact control panel and make outbound calls. Now you may be wondering where is receive inbound calls? Well, receiving an inbound call does not have to be explicitly given. Once you provide access to the contact control panel, the agent will be able to receive call depending on the phone type that you have selected for the agent. If you have selected desk phone instead of soft phone for their phone type, then the agent will always receive calls on their desk phone, irrespective of what access you have given here. So that is the reason why it doesn't make sense to control the permission for receiving an inbound call. All right, so let's say I do not want this generic agent profile. Instead, I would like to have two types of agent profiles, one for only receiving inbound calls and another for both inbound and outbound calls. So let's go ahead and delete this agent profile because I can't rename it. I'll click cancel here. In order to delete this profile, I'll select this and click remove. And I'll get this warning that says, removing the security profile may block associated users within the group from certain tasks that they are assigned. I'll still go ahead and click remove and you will see delete security profile succeeded. Now I'll create a new profile by clicking add new security profile. I'll name it Agent Inbound and we'll give it a description. Then under Contact Control Panel, I'll select the permission Access Contact Control Panel and click Save. Next, let's create a profile for outbound agents. So I'll click Add New Security Profile, enter the name as Agent Outbound and I'll give it a description. And under contact control panel, I'll select both the options and click save. All right, now I'll go back to user management, select John Doe, 
and click edit. Here if I type agent, I'll see both agent inbound and agent outbound. So I'll select agent inbound and click save. So now John Doe can only receive incoming calls. All right, so that is how you create and modify security profiles. In the next video, we'll discuss about queues and hours of operations.